I'm next to the captain. Trace Cocos is a fantastic place to stay, and I'll tell you why. Okay, did you guys want to do like a little variety for both of you? Like a little... And we want to walk some dogs. We're going to help them out. This is their uh, society. Hi, guys. the esquite what happened i was hungry We have landed in Belize City. We took a direct flight from Houston to Belize City and now we're making our way over to San Pedro on Ambergris Key for a week of eating, drinking, adventure, and scuba diving. Walk down here to get your luggage and then get back in that line. There are a couple of ways you can get from Belize City to San Pedro. You can fly or you can take the ferry. The last two times we've been to Belize, we took a Tropic Air flight from Belize City to San Pedro. They have flights departing just about every hour during the day, so you don't have to wait around long for the next flight. Tickets usually run about $80 to $100 US per person, and it's a quick flight, just about 15 minutes. You could probably show up without a reservation and hop on a flight, but we booked our Tropic Air flight before we left home. Not knowing how long it would take to get through Immigration and Customs, we booked our flight for a couple hours after we were scheduled to land. The good news is that when we got to the Tropic Air counter, they were able to get us on an earlier flight. There is another airline, Maya Island Air, that has similar prices and has a bunch of departures daily as well, but we went Tropic Air because they seem to have better reviews. If you don't want to spring for the flight, you'll need to get a taxi from the airport to the ferry terminal. I think you can buy your ferry tickets from the taxi driver and it might be cheaper and easier, so check with your driver if you do take a taxi. I think the taxi ride was about 20 bucks, and the ferry tickets are around $30 per person, so you're saving some money by taking the ferry, but it's a longer trip. The ferry ride's about an hour and a half, plus the time it takes the taxi to get you to the ferry terminal. That said, we do usually take the ferry back at the end of the trip when we're not in a hurry to go home, but we're ready to start our adventure now, so let's get this plane in the air. Not only is the flight faster, but it's a lot of fun and you get a great view on the trip over. Right back there. I don't know if you can see it. Not the hair. Uh, 
Not a far so what, what adventure have we been on today? We flew to Belize City. We flew into Belize City. Got in about 11.15. Yep. Our flight originally for Tropic Air, which is the flight from Belize City to San Pedro, San Pedro was originally at 1.40, but we got on an hour earlier flight. Yay! So we got in at 11.15. We were able to get on a Tropic Air flight at 12.30. It was kind of a little bit close, but yeah, it's yeah, rather than waiting, it. better than waiting another hour, right? Yep. And I got to sit in the pilot seat. Well, co-pilot seat. Um, yeah, we'll show footage of that. And landed, got our golf cart. Yep. We're just waiting now. Good to go. Wait on David. All right. There we go. This is much better. Not as close. We're off we go to get our paperwork done for our golf cart. Yep. Rocks met us at the airport. Oh my goodness. This video will show how bumpy these roads are. <laughs> Trace Cocos, here's parking lot. Walking in the entrance office is right there. Nice little office. That's all I think. Pretty much cover everything. I know it's a lot of information. I there is our unit where we're staying. Second floor. We've got a great view of the ocean. There's our balcony right there. Here's how we get to the dive shop. Nice little pool, it's open 24 hours. There's an iguana around here somewhere, Maria just said. Hi, buddy. I don't see him though. <clears throat> and then through here, is the doghouse. Hey, Maria, doghouse. That's where she kicked my ass at darts. Really, girl can play darts. See, we were on the top one before. Were we? Yeah. Come on, number four. Here's our room at Tres Cocos. Hi, baby. Off to the right, we have bedroom. Nice size, nice storage, nice big closet. Have a TV. We've got the safe. Down the hallway, the bathroom. Extra towels, plenty of storage, hair dryer included. Here we are in the living room. Beautiful. A uh, five gallon bucket of water. Nice kitchen, a uh, small fridge, but a full fridge, small stove, but a full stove and oven, uh, a lot of storage. There's all kinds of utensils and cups here. Nice little dining table, nice couch area, telly, air conditioning. And here we have the balcony. Well, hello there. How are you? Hello. Good. I'm enjoying our Belican. Uh, com complimentary Belican from uh, Trace Cocos at check-in. Super nice. So Trace Cocos is a fantastic place to stay, and I'll tell you why. One of the things is this view is gorgeous, right? If you're a diver, the dive shop is just right there. You just walk straight down, and it's five minutes over there. We're also uh, let me switch this around here. We're also north of town a little bit. We're across the bridge, uh, so it's not as crowded here, but it's an easy golf cart ride down into everything. 
Um, yeah, they've got the doghouse, a little bar next door where they serve food. they got a pool here. It's just a great place to stay. So the dive shop is right across the way, which is super convenient. Uh, above it, you've also got 303, which is a restaurant bar. Uh, they, they play music most nights, I think. Uh, super convenient. I mean, we just walk out of our place, walk over here, and we're there. Uh, and then you see you've got these guys that come out every morning and clean up the stuff on the beach, which is pretty nice. Last time we were here, the sargassum was really bad. Uh, this year it hadn't been too bad at all, but they still come out and they scoop up whatever's out there so we can go in the beach. After we settled into our room, we headed over to 303 for some lunch. 303 is a fun place to hang out. Good food, good drinks, a great view, and it's just a short walk from the room. We were so hungry, we just started. I got the shrimp tacos. Awesome. Mark got shrimp nachos. <laughs> How are they? They're really good. And drinks are good. And all prices are in the Disney dollars. Yep. Tres Cocos actually has two places to eat and drink within walking distance. There's 303. There's also the Dog House, which is a little open air bar with TVs, darts, a pretty good menu, and a full bar. to the Iguana Eco Center. Look at all the fruit for the iguanas. Look at that iguana. Look at that iguana. Holy shit, He's that's ginormous. Huge. He's eating away at all the fruit. <laughs> all right, let's head out. We're here at the Eco Iguana Corner Foundation. Look how big these iguanas are. I've never seen iguanas this big. They're huge. Oh look, something's happening up there on that branch. <laughs> Do you see it? We dove with Elite Adventures this time and the last time we were in Belize. They did a great job. They were friendly, fun, and great to work with. Last time they took us out to Turniff and they also arranged a trip for us to dive the Blue Hole. Uh, of course we did a video on that and I'll link it here and also in the description. This time we just did dives on the local reef, but they were some fantastic dives. Most dive sites are just about a 10 minute boat ride out and then we were in the water. We just had the coolest dive. What do we see? Sharks. Lots we of sharks. dropped in and like immediately once we got down to depth, we looked up. There's like three pretty good sized reef sharks circling. Like somebody was chumming the water or I something. Know. Oh my god. That makes me a little nervous sometimes. Uh, no, it was a little <laughs> freaky. They were they hung around for a little bit and we swam on. We saw. There was a huge grouper that just came up right in front of my camera. No. So got a good shot of that. No. Um, we saw a lot of things on this dive. Saw a couple of green mores. Mm -hmm. um, turtle. 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 Um, and then a nurse shark that was like tucked up sleeping underneath a ledge. Uh, tucked in there pretty far. Yeah, and we so. kept seeing sharks come up behind us. <laughs> Head I on the, swivel. I know, I was like, whole dive like this. <laughs> I'm always looking back at Mark because it always, I always seem to be coming up behind him. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool. So cool. Not a ton of marine life here, like not really abundant marine life where it's like a huge school of fish, but man, the sharks are so great. Yeah. And, and a lot of uh, a lot of other cool live marine life. Yep. Oh, awesome. Anything else? Uh no. Cool. That's it.
surrounded by sharks all week, I was finally able to get my shark selfie. So we are at Rain, park across the street. There it is, rooftop bar. It's supposed to be pretty good. We shall see. <laughs> music Wednesday to Saturday so no live music today because <laughs> today's Monday right off the elevator <laughs> Another really cool place to check out is the truck stop. We went there a couple times while we were on the island. It's a bit north of the bridge, maybe 10 minutes by golf cart, so it's about a five minute ride from Tres Cocos. It's a fun laid back space and it's huge. In the front, they have four or five food trucks and a bar surrounding tables and a stage where they play music most nights. In the back, there's another bar and a huge area with picnic tables there too. And there's also a small pool where you can hang out. Lots of fun. So that was the Esquite. What happened? I was hungry. <laughs> because we're terrible at taking videos before we start eating. What'd you get to eat? The Chi Chi's chicken, which is LB's original recipe fried chicken. So thought I'd try it. We're here at Saga and we want to walk some dogs. We're gonna help them out. This is their we oh, made society. Hi, guys. We want to walk some dogs. Oh, We're going to help them out. Get them out. You go for a walk? Want to go for a walk? You want to walk? Don't say that. We don't know who to walk. Oh, hey, little buddy. Hi, little guy. Hi. Let's see who wants to go for a walk. Hi. Who wants to go for a walk? Here we are at Saga walking some doggies. There goes Mark. Let's go to the beach. Antonella, let's go to the beach, Antonella. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Mark. What's going on? Just walking some dogs. In <laughs> We're in Belize walking some dogs. We're about to go to the beach. Okay. We got them from Saga. Oh, we got, uh, yeah. Our humane society, right? Yeah. And these two have been, apparently, are in a pen together, but when they get out, they love to play. Yes. Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> so, what are, what are we doing here? We're trying to walk. At the, Ramones. We're trying to walk the dogs. Where did we get the dogs? Huh? Where did we get the dogs? Oh, we got them at Saga. Uh huh. Yeah, they're humane society. This is. And they need help walking dogs all the time. And these dogs are up for adoption. This is Antonella, and that's. This is Antonella. This is Palomina, I think. Antonina. Antonella, I think it's Palomella. 
Anyway, they're both very sweet. Oh my goodness. And, and hot. Antonella is very tired. And she's got a lot of energy when she's ready to go, though. She's like, I gotta stop for a minute. Palomina's a sweetheart. Yes. How that happened? I got the crazy dog again. Okay, we just finished walking the dogs over at uh, Saga, the humane society. <laughs> Hey, I had the crazy dog. <laughs> you did it. I had a well-behaved dog, but it's yes. kind of hot out tonight. We took a long walk yeah. along the beach, but it's fun. The beach. They were sweet dogs. Look how sweaty I am. Definitely, if you are in Belize, think about adopting one of those little puppers because yeah. they are sweet dogs. They are. They're all sweet. Lots of cats and dogs. Yep. All up for adoption. Tuesdays and Thursdays, Hermit Crab Races. We made our reservations already. You do have to make a reservation for it. Um, ooh, there's the whole schedule for the week. Here we go. Got our table over here. Crab. Oh. There's some crabs. Domingo for Jonathan. Domingo for Jonathan. school scholarships for kids here on the island. We have now raised over $180,000 to send kids to school by raising hermit crabs. So just remember, I'm doing my part sending the kids to school. If you leave a negative trip advisor review, you're the reason the kids aren't going to school anymore. <laughs> I, I would hope it was a little bit bigger than that. Because realistically, it's not the length, it's the girth, right? Like, I'm not going to hit bottom, but as long as you know I was there, right? You got the size. So. If you don't know, lionfish aren't native to the Caribbean, so they have no natural predators and they eat a lot, so they can really decimate marine life on a reef. However, we saw a ton of evidence that nurse sharks are now hunting lionfish. We'd see them dive into crevices where lionfish are hanging out just to try to eat them, it looked like. We didn't actually see a shark catch a lionfish, but that's good news that they're hunting them and they may help to control the lionfish population. And of course, we're trying to do our part to get the sharks interested in the lionfish. If we don't feed it to a shark, just take it back and eat it. So we're making our way to Ahi, Tapa's Bar and Grill, or Bar and Restaurant. You have to walk through um, Bella, I can't, Vista. Bella Vista Resort to get there. It's towards the back on the beach. Be right back on the beach. Well, you could walk all the way. Quaint, it's cute. What have you heard about Ahi? That it's good. 
I just read that, you know. I like that. Yeah. I'm look, that's what I'm looking for in a restaurant. Huh? That's what I'm looking for in a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, and tonight is Asia night, apparently. This is what Mark said. I did not see the sign for that. Little walkway. I just said that because you're here. <laughs> this is cute. Thank you. Our beachfront table at Ahi. What a nice view. The pasta Belize. And what'd you get? The seafood carbonara. So we are here at Caramba Restaurant based on a recommendation from our waiter last night at Ahi. So we're here at Caramba and we did make reservations, but that's okay. We still got a table. We got here around 5 30. Sitting in the back. If you're choosing your fish, which I wanted punk fish, and I didn't want them to run out, so we got here at 5:30. Um, yeah, exactly at 5:30. Um, but we did make reservation. Okay, did you guys want to do like a little variety for both of you, like a little? Uh, I don't know. Six scallops would be good. Six scallops. No, let's do eight. All right, let's do let's eight. Let's do eight. <laughs> that That looks good to me, yeah? This is exciting. I like this. <laughs> Wait, it comes with a side, baked potato, salad. There's our scallops. There's the one shrimp Maria wanted, <laughs> the crab claw right there, and you got coconut rice and a garden salad, right? Yep. How's it look? I'm so excited to try it. How was Caramba? It was delicious, and honestly, I think really pretty affordable. I mean, it came out to... 200 uh, US. 200 US. Before tip. Huh? Before tip. Before tip. Before tip. And we had a shitload of food. We had hogfish, uh, eight scallops, a huge shrimp, and a uh, big uh, stone crab claw. And, and then um, six margaritas. <laughs> Between the two of us, not me. Between the two of us, three and three. Um, and their margaritas, by the way. Reservations, probably a good idea. Yes, reservations are a very good idea. One, if you want, if, if you move early, even if you come in without a reservation around 5 or 5.30, you still get seated towards the back, which is fine. You get a seat. But I always like premium seating. <laughs> By the beach, you know, buy the fish over there. Um, we didn't have a reservation, which is, you know, good.
JP tonight celebrating her birthday. Right here at Blue by You. Happy birthday to JP. <laughs> So this is Sinker Beach. Out there's a beautiful sunset later on. What happened last time we were at Sinker Beach? I dropped my phone in the water and then I put the lightning charger in it. So it Not recommended. I got a pineapple something. And I got an orgasm. Something. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is a, it is a candy orgasm. And it's Blue Bayou's sixth anniversary, so they're giving stuff away all day. We have 207 and 206. Four, zero, one, two, five, zero. Any lucky winner? <laughs> the number is 40125. <laughs> So, Blue Bayou's sixth anniversary, and we want a $50 gift card. <laughs> the end of another great vacation. We took the ferry back from San Pedro to Belize City so that we can enjoy the water one last time. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us in the comments what you thought, what you'd like to see more of, and even what you'd like to see less of. And be sure to subscribe to see where the day takes us next. See you next time.